Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all the ships at sea. Welcome to tonight's Friday, December 26th, 2022, Walpole Media Corporation broadcast of Walpole High School Girls Varsity Basketball Action as the Braintree High Wamps meet your Walpole High Timberwolves in a Bay State Conference Hurricane Division game from the Walpole High Gym. My name is Rick Brown, your voice of Walpole High Sports, and I'll be providing all the play-by-play -play action tonight. Excitement. That's the vibe that is coming from the girl cages as they kick off the 2022-2023 season. Walpole lost just one play to graduation from last year's 17-4 state quarterfinalist team. That's right, co-captain Natalie Griffin, who missed the entire campaign after surgery, was the only senior on that team. And the Timberwolves are back, loaded for beer, if you'll pardon the pun. Both teams enter the game tonight, having won their season opener. Walpole cruised past Needham 64-50, while Braintree rolled over Milton 46-26. Tri-captains Brooke Wallonis, Haley Brigham, and Katie Hurley will power the orange and blue this winter. Wallonis was runner-up in scoring a year ago with 250 points, four fewer than freshman sensation Izzy Adams' 254. Haley Brigham wasn't too far off the pace either with 234 points, and Katie Hurley chipped in with 169. The other seniors on the team include defensive specialist Grace Ryan, Chloe Binden, and Annie Cantrell. Juniors Taylor Carter, Lauren Offkant, and Caitlin Boisvert will be uh, lead, lad leadership experience for sophomores uh, Izzy Adams and ninth grader Bella Bingham. Walpole has swept the two-game series with the Wamps the last three years for a six-game winning streak. The Timberwolves prevailed a year ago, 56-38 and 51-20. In Walpole's opener, uh, Izzy Adams picked up right where she left off last year, scoring a game-high 21 points. Uh, Brooke Wallonis uh, added 16, Haley Brigham a dozen, and Katie Hurley 10. While they're announcing uh, the starting lineups here, I'd like to remind you, if you're interested in providing play-by-play -play or color commentary, you should contact Walpole Media Corporation Executive Director Tamara Green at 508-668-7795 or by emailing her at tgreen at walpomedia.tv. We're always looking for interested people to cover these events. The kids enjoy it. You'll enjoy it. You'll get a different perspective of the game from the stands here. And it's a, it's a fun thing to do. So give us a call. We're always looking for more, more and more talented people than me. Anyway, Braintree's uh, lineup has been announced, and now we'll be doing the Timberwolves. Izzy Adams starters out, the first one. And Grace Ryan comes out. Brigham coming out. And coming up next is uh, center Katie Hurley. And finally, tri captain Brooke Wallonis. And you get ready now for the playing of the National Anthem.
And with the playing of our national anthem, we will be getting underway shortly here from the Wapple High Gym. Another good crowd here tonight on uh, this side of the field facing the teams. A large number of brigade. The brigade down to my right. Uh, parents, friends, and relatives uh, filling up the rest of the stands. the ball to Ryan over to Adams as he goes to her right setting up comes to Hurley Hurley looking she gets it to Malonis Malonis at the top of the key back over to Adams on the left inside to Hurley she's fouled as she goes up and Walpole will go to the the line Was on Francesca Sparrica. The first free throw is good by Early. Walpole takes a one to nothing lead. And the second one is up and no good. Brinker is able to save the rebound. It goes down to Sophia Collery. And a foul on double zero. Who is Hannah Sherrick? For Braintree, it'll be Walpole ball. Malonis will inbounds. She gets it to Adams as he's bringing the ball down the court. Going to the left. Drops it off to Grace Ryan. Ryan to Malonis. Brooke over to Bingham. Bingham drive. Pops good. And she got fouled. No good, and it remains. Three to nothing, Walpole. Walpole did get the rebound, though. There's Bingham for a drive. No good. Izzy pulls the ball out from Bingham. Another foul on uh, Sherrick. So immediately, she gets into foul trouble here. Two fouls in the first minute and 18 seconds. Malona stops, pops, and no good. Jamie Kaiser inbounds. Gets it to Sherrick. Sherrick over to, Kai, uh, to Sophia Rotondo. Dr. Sherrick up top to Kaleri, Sophia Kaleri, and it's a foul. Foul on uh, Sophia Kaleri. Her first. The Fifth on the team already, wow. And we've only, we still have six minutes and 15 seconds to play here in the first quarter, and Braintree's already in foul trouble. The 
Timberwolves come back out on the floor. Still the starting lineup. Ryan, Malonis, Adams, Haley Brigham, and Hurley. Over to Izzy, Izzy bringing it down the right side. Gets it into Hurley, back to Brooke. Brooke drives, pots it up, no good. And there's a foul on uh, Wallonis. Chloe Binden checks into the lineup for Katie Hurley. Izzy wasn't giving that rebound up for anything, uh, giving up that ball for anything. Braintree ball. Sherrick inbounds cross court to Sakura Rotundo. Ball goes out of bounds. It's Braintree ball. And Sherrick will inbound. He gets it to Francesca Mazzini. Back to Mazzini. Sherrick over to Kaiser. Kaiser in the corner to Sherrick. She loses it. Grace Ryan gets it off the floor. Tosses it up to Malonis. And Brooke will slow things down and bring it up across center court. To Binden to Ryan. Into Malonis. Malonis. Gets it over to Adams and bounces off her hands and goes into the stands. It will be boring tree ball with 5.17 left to go in the first quarter. Walpole on top, three to nothing. Francesca Mazzini bringing the ball down. And a travel on Mazzini. Chloe Binden will inbounds for Walpole. He tosses it into Izzy. Adams goes to Wallonis. I'm sorry, no, to Brigham. Now Adams. He's got Binden on her right. Gets it to Ryan. Up to Bigham. Out. Goes out and it'll be boring tree ball. Mazzini bringing the ball down for the Wumps. Rebound, near ball to Malonis. Brooke coming down, gets it over to Brigham. Over to Izzy. Izzy stops, pops two points. Ball pulls up, five to nothing now. Mazzini bringing the ball down. Gets it up to Carolyn Cook. Crook goes out of bounds. It'll be Walpole ball. Katie Hurley back in, and Chloe Binden comes out. Malone just tosses it into Adams. Isabel gets it over to Ryan to Malonis for a three. No good. It's saved nicely by uh, Adams. And a foul on Raintree's Sophia Caleri. That's the sixth on the team. Adams gets the inbounds. Over in the corner to Ryan. Underneath to Hurley. And a foul on 
Izzy. Izzy's first. Nice save by uh, Ryan. Grace goes diving in at midcourt to toss that ball back in. Now she gives it to Malonis. Brooke drives, lays it up, and no good. And it goes out of bounds off her hands. Bella Bingham comes in replacing her older sister, Haley Brigham. No, oh, they're not sisters, I'm sorry. I just realized that. <laughs> Ooh, Kate, first game of the year for me. Okay, Chloe Binden drives, puts it up, and no good. Amy bringing it down for the Womps. She gets it to uh, Rotundo. And Rotundo is fouled by, I think, by Bella Bingham. Baseline, throws it back up. It's stolen by Adams. She goes looking for Bingham, but couldn't find her. Goes out of bounds. It'll be boring. Tree ball with 2.22 left in the first quarter, and your Timberwolves on top five to nothing. Rotondo with the ball. He gets it to Spadorka. Spadorico. Adams had it first, and bounced off her hands. Brooke took it, drives the length of the floor, and misses. And Wamps bring the ball back down. Stops, pops, no good. And we've got a jump ball between Bella Bingham and Carolyn Clouffer. A Walpole ball. Minute and a half to go in the first quarter. Five to nothing. The T Wolves on top. And the corner to Adams. Three seconds called. And Boyntree will get the ball back again. Sherrick bringing the ball down on the far side. And a foul on Izzy Adams. That's Izzy's second. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's all. That was foul was on 22 of Wendy Spadora. Bella Bingham puts it up and in, and she gets fouled. With exactly a minute to go, Bella will look uh, to put Walpole up eight to nothing. Bella is just a freshman. And she does. A zip. And a timeout called. 
And both teams go to their benches. Walpole on top, eight to nothing here with exactly one minute to go here in this first quarter. Uh, the scoring has been spread out all over the place. Uh, let's see, we've got the Hurley's got one point. Haley Brigham's got th uh, two. Izzy Adams has got two. And uh, Bella Bingham has got three. Uh, that's the way we stand right now. Braintree's still looking to get on the scoreboard. Both teams still uh, a little cold shooting here in the early going of this game. Well, it's, no, it's almost the end of the first quarter, but both teams showing a little uh, bit of um, cold shooting. Ryan with it, bringing it down. Grace, the only starter out there at this point. Oh, I stand correct. It's Haley Brigham is out there. And Brogy steals the ball with 31 seconds to go in the first quarter. Still looking for their first points of the game. The rebound pulled on by Wolver. Binden puts it up and in. Pendleton up and Walpole up on top. And an Aaron shot at the buzzer as the horn sounds, ending the first quarter here at Walpole High School F Gymnasium. With your Timberwolves on top, 10 to nothing. Uh, the scoring has been, like I just mentioned, the scoring has been spread out all over the place here. The leading scorer is uh, Bella Brit Bingham, the freshman with uh, three points. Chloe Binden with two. Izzy Adams with two. Haley Brigham with two. And Katie Hurley with one. And Braintree is still looking to get onto the scoreboard. That's which is kind of amazing because they beat uh, Milton by a ton the other night. It makes you wonder how what's going on over at Milton. Uh, yeah, they beat Milton uh, by 20 points, 46 to 26. few people okay so it's Ryan oh, it's the starting lineup again I accept uh, Bovia is replacing Hurley but we've got uh, Adams Malonis Frigham Ryan and uh, Bovia and I know I'm pronouncing your name wrong, Caitlin. I'll ask you again after the game if I get a chance how to pronounce it, but I'm doing the best I can. All right, inbounding for Braintree will be so Jamie Kaiser. She gets it to Sherrick. Sherrick drives to her right. And gets fouled by Ryan. Oh. 
Costello with the ball. Gets it back to Kaiser. Inside. Still is. Z Adams bringing the ball down to Ryan. And then the corner to Malonis for three. And just a little bit short. Good defense by Malonis as she knocks the pass out of bounds. So Braintree will get it under the uh, basket. Ahead to Adams. You see to Malonis to Ryan for a three. Bang! Three big ones. 13 to nothing. Walpole in the lead now. Very good. Adams with the rebound. Ryan. Over to Malonis for another three. Bang! And Braintree calls a timeout. As Walpole jumps out to a 16 to nothing advantage here with 6.33 to go in the first half. Braintree still looking to get on the scoreboard. Has uh, scored the only six points of the second quarter. And has also scored the only 16 points of the game. Walpole's uh, shooting eye seems to be coming back a little bit faster right now. Braintree is rushing some shots and I think just being intimidated by Walpole's uh, seems to be a little bit taller than the Womps. They get it up to Sherrick. She's bringing up the unguarded closely by Brigham. Now Grace Ryan picks her up. Back over to Mazzini. Mazzini on the side to Rotundo. Ryan comes over to Mazzini. Over on the side. Underneath to uh, Kalori, three. Finally right, at 559. And that the lead is 16 to three now. It's finally, Brooke Frazier is able to get on the board. There's a steal to Adams. Back to Malona, she lays it up and in and she got fouled. Great feed from Izzy. Malonis uh, trying to make it a 16 point lead for Walpole. And does not. 18 to three, Walpole's lead is 15 points. Steal by Malonis. She's got Ryan. Brooke puts it up and in. 20 to 3, Walpole's advantage is 17 points now, with 5-10 left to go in the first half. Up, up, 
good by Rotundo. Nope, I'm sorry, that was Mazzini. 20 to five, Walpole's lead is 15. Underneath, very good by Curley. Sherrick bringing the ball down. Gets it back. To Rotundo, and on the side. Kaiser, and it goes out of bounds. It'll be Walpole ball. With 4.12 to go, in comes Bella Bingham and, uh, let's see, Lauren Offgant, along with Chloe Binden. to Wallonis, look underneath the Hurley, it's good. Coming in for Braintree, and a foul on Hurley. Cluffer will go to the line. Shooting two. First one is no good. And the second one is up and good. So it's twenty two, twenty two to six. Now uh, Walpole's advantage. Walona uh, uh, off can bringing it down. Stumbled a little bit there. She gets it over to Hurley. Hurley back to Lauren. Lauren to uh, back to Brooke for a three. No good. Rebound by Hurley. No good. Out of bounds. It'll be Walpole ball. Chloe Binden will throw it in for the T-Wolves. Underneath the Hurley, it's no good. And a foul on Binden. And, uh, both teams over the limit. So, Cloffer will once again go to the line. I think this time a one and one. It's good. 22 to seven, Walpole on top. It's about good. 24 to seven, Walpole's lead is back to 17. Mazzini gets it over to Hoffer. Okay. Nice save there by uh, Crook for the Wumps. And this pass goes out of bounds. 2.37 left to go in the half. The T Wolves on top as Malonis, Hurley, Bingham, and Offgan come out. Adams, Binden, Brigham, 
Walpole there. And Ryan are back in for Walpole. Over to Brigham. Haley drives to a right, goes into the lane, no good. Bringing the ball down is Francesca Mazzini. Stops, pops, around the rim and out. Adams with the rebound. He gets it up to Brigham, and yet she gets the roll. Twenty-six to seven. Walpole's biggest lead of the game now. Nineteen points with a minute and fifty-one seconds to go in the half. Malonis back in for Binden. Second one, Brigham with the ball, gets it back to Adams as he goes into the corner, backing the way in. Oh, what a bad, what a beautiful pass. Behind. And the Braintree player injured. Oh, that's why the whistle was blown. Binden comes in replacing Bovea. Uh, to go in the first half. He goes up top to Rotundo. Rotundo looking for... Oh, we've got a jump ball. Chloe diving down to get that ball. That will still be brain tree ball. Sherrick, Sherrick puts it up, no good. <clears throat> Rebound by Brigham, but Sherrick picks up her third foul. Puts it up and doesn't get the roll this time either. Score remains 26 19. who is Sophia Rotundo. And Izzy Adams will go to the line. One minute exactly to go in the second quarter. Izzy's first is no good. And the second one up and in. 27-9, Walpole's lead. 
18. Comes up to Rotundo. No, Mazzini. Mazzini looking for somebody now to Rotundo. Ball blocked away into the hands of Grace Ryan. Ryan drives the length of the court and lays it up and in. Nine, nine. We're in the final 30 seconds of the half. Ball comes way out for three. Good by Kaiser. 29 to 12, Walpole's lead. Walpole waiting for the last shot of the half. Puts it up and in by Adams. Clock sounds before Brinkley can get their shot off. So at halftime, the score is Walpole 31, Braintree 12. The two teams go to the locker room for a little break. We will do the same. And we'll be back shortly with second half action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to second half action here from the Walpole High Gym. Where your Walpole High Timberwolves girls varsity basketball team holds a commanding 31 to 12 lead over the Braintree Wamps. Uh, Walpole has had seven scorers so far in the game. Uh, Grace Ryan and Brooke Wallonis are tied for the atop the scoring with seven points each. Izzy Adams has five. Um, Haley Brigham has four. Katie Hurley three. And um, Brigham, no, uh, Chloe Binden has two. Bella Brigham, Bella Bingham also has three points. And that should be our 31. Walpole has led in the entire way. Braintree uh, was held scoreless in the first quarter, losing, uh, trailing 10 to nothing at the end of the first uh, stands of the first eight minutes of play. Uh, they found their shooting range a little bit in the second quarter, but Walpole, uh, you know, was not to, to be de denied. The two teams are on the field now, and Haley Brigham will start it off. She drops the ball over to Izzy Adams. Adams to Hurley. Hurley to Ryan. Ryan to Hurley. Over in the corner to Adams. Adams inside to Hurley. She's outside to Wallonis for a three. Bang! 34 out of 12, Walpole's lead. The highest of the game at 22. Sherrick with the ball. Throws a wild shot up and it goes in. 34-14. Wallonis over to Brigham. Brigham hands it off to Brooke. Brooke inside to Katie. Hurley puts it up. No good. Gets the rebound. It's a B. A. Still loose. And Braintree comes up with it. But they're called for traveling. So it'll be Walpole ball. And the baseline. Brooke tosses it in to Izzy. Izzy goes to her right. Goes baseline, fires it out to Ryan for three. Just off the far side, and it goes out of bounds. It will be the Raintree ball. Hannah Sherrick bringing the ball down for the Wumps. She gets it over to Sophia Caleri. Caleri had the first points for uh, Braintree, and that came at uh, 2.01 of the second quarter. So they went 10 minutes without scoring a point. Wallonis comes down, gets it to Ryan, over on the side to Brigham, in the corner to Izzy, no good. Braintree bringing it down, it's Sherrick bringing it up. She drops it 
Drops it off for uh, Mazzini. Mazzini over in the corner to Sherrick. Back up top to Rotundo. Rotundo leaves it to Caleri. He puts it up and in. 34-16. And Sherrick picks up her fourth foul. Katie Hurley will inbounds for the T-Wolves. She gets it to Izzy. Adams to Haley. Haley is going a little too fast and is behind her. Braintree coming down. Ryan with the steal. Goes on to Alonis. Brooks pulls up. Back out to Alonis. Regan cutting in towards the middle. In the corner to Adams. Adams puts it up. No good off the rim, but early with the rebound, and she gets blocked by uh, Sophia Kaleri. Paul bringing it down. It's Adams. Spins, gets it up, and in. Thirty-six, sixteen. Walpole's lead is back to twenty. Sherrick with a wild shot. Adams pulls down the rebound. Malonis for an uncontested three. Bang! Thirty-nine, sixteen. Walpole's lead twenty-three with four twenty-two left to go in the third quarter. Pull back out on the floor. Ryan is having her left hand looked at over by trainer Amanda Randall. Hope that's nothing serious. Grace, the uh, one of the defensive specialists for uh, Walpole. All right, Mazzini bringing the ball down. He gets it over on the side to Rotundo. Rotundo being guarded by uh, Bella Bingham. <coughs> Rotundo inside, stolen by Adams. Is he coming down the court? Gets it up top to Wallonis. Wallonis underneath the Binden. He puts it up to Bingham around the rim and in. 41-16. Tunda with the ball looking for Pollery uh, and she throws it away. Mia Esdil comes into the lineup for the first time tonight. And Haley Brigham goes out. Mia, I think, is a junior. Yes, she is. Mahomes to Adams. To Malonis for number three off the side. Binden with the rebound underneath to Bingham. To Adams up top. Binden with the travel. Mazzini bringing it 
down for Braintree. Rotondo with it. Over to Kaiser. And to Cree, Cree, uh, Crook. Ball on the ground. Izzy gets it, and she's tied up. It will be Braintree ball. The arrow is pointing towards Braintree. 240 left to go in the third quarter. Here are T Wolves on top, 41 to 16. Side a long range shot, no good. The rebound, she gets it back. A crook, but it's stolen away by Bingham. Underneath for uh, Beauvais, Binden for a three, in and out. Beauvais with the rebound, puts it back up, it's knocked away. And Blanky comes down with it. Steal there by Bingham. Bingham brings it down and has it knocked out and she gets fouled by Mazzini, Francesca Mazzini. She will go to the free throw line shooting two. to Offkamp, Lauren gets it into Esdale. Esdale spins, puts it up, but she travels. Well, pull along with the younger players, Annie Cantrell in there, uh, Caitlin Bovea, Offkamp, Bingham, and Esdale. So all the starters are on the bench. Took uh, Boyce more than five seconds to get it in, so it'll be Walpole Ball with a minute 47 to go in the third quarter. The Timberwolves comfortably ahead by 25 points. Ball comes out to Bingham. Bingham spins, puts it up. No good, the rebound by Esdale. Back to Bingham, no good, but she got fouled. Second, but Walpole with the rebound. Comes out to Cantrell, over to Esdale. Esdale drives, pops, good, off, uses the glass. Body four to 16 as Mia Esdale gets in the scoreboard. Up and in by Sherrick. 44 18. Blind pass nicely by Bingham to Offgan to Esdale. Back to Cantrell. Bingham. Shot is no good, and we will have a jump ball. 36.2 seconds left in the third frame. Walpole's lead a comfortable 26 points at 44 to 18 in this Bay State Conference Cricket Division battle. Cantrell with it to Esdale. Leah goes to the lane, comes out to Offkant, Lauren going to her left. Comes back in, gets into Bovier, and she muscles her way in for the bucket. 26 to 18. Yeah. 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 
Good Esdu with the rebound. And the buzzer sounds before Walpole can get the shot off. But the Timberwolves have uh, boosted their lead up to 28 points at 46 to 18 after three quarters of play here. And uh, um, for the last uh, eight, six or eight minutes, uh, no, 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 about four, four to six minutes has been all uh, the younger players, the starters are off. You know, on the bench now, and giving these younger players an opportunity to get some varsity action. Because Walpole will, you know, more than likely need it uh, down the stretch as we go into the season between illnesses and injuries and things. You want to get as many players uh, as much playing time as possible and coach Dave Wall is doing that now in a game where he's got the opportunity to do so. Well we've got eight minutes left in this contest and uh, you know Timberwolves uh, well on their way to uh, a 2-0 record. Open a 64 to 50. And they have to go some to top that scoring mark tonight. Hannah Sherrick with the ball for the Wamps. Inside to uh, Kaleri. She gets the roll. And it's 46 to 20. Off Gant to Taylor Carter. Uh, to the off Gant. Back to Cotter. Esdale to Bouvier. Off Gant looking. Hands it off. Shot is blocked. And we've got a double dribble on Braintree. Bringing the ball down. She loses it to Sherrick. Sherrick lays it up. No good. A little bit too strong on the layup. Off Gant comes back. She loses her balance and falls there. And there is a foul being called on Sherrick. And I think that's her fifth. It is as she heads out. With 6.54 to go in regulation. Off Gant will inbounds to Bovia who puts it up and in. 28, 24. Well, this steal by Off Gant. Tosses it over to Cantrell, to Esdale. Back to Bovier, and she puts it up. Back-to-back uh, -back hoops by uh, Caitlin Bovier. A three by Braintree doesn't make the bucket. Rebound taken by Bovier. Pass goes out of bounds. We've got six minutes and ten seconds left in regulation. And... Uh, Coming in for Walpole is Katie Hurley. No good, the rebound by Cantrell, and she gets fouled by Mazzini. Yeah, that's Mazzini's fourth.
We've got five minutes and 55 seconds left in regulation. Walpole with its biggest lead of the game at 30 points, 50 to 20. Lineup, with the exception of Chloe Vinden back out there. Vinden uh, in place of Grace uh, Ryan. Vinden will inbounds. Early to Malonis. Back up to Bingham to Malonis. Brigham on the side, back to Alonis. We're killing off time on the clock. To Adams. Adams underneath to Hurley. Back on the corner for a three by Chloe. That's no good. Save there by uh, Adams. Out to Brigham. To Hurley. Now to Bindon. Bindon to Alonis. Look to Katie. Gets the ball. Rotunda with it. And tosses it out of bounds. All right, Hurley with it to Brigham. Cutting towards the middle. Hands it off to Malonis, Brooke to Chloe, to Katie. Caitlin, Katie. Falls loose. Knocked out by Mazzini. With the Walpole ball. Put back up by Brigham and she gets fouled. Foul is on uh, Kaiser. Brigham will shoot two. First one is good. Walpole clears the bench again. Second one is good. So on the floor now for Walpole, it's Esdale, Bingham, Cantrell, uh, Offgant, and B Brigham. No, Bingham, Bingham. 355 left to go in regulation. Inbounding for Braintree is Carolyn Flaufer. She sends it over to Nina Hemda. We get a foul on Walpole. Can't. She's bringing the ball down. Gets it to Cotter. Taylor passes it off to Mia. As Dill drives the, the lane. Back to Offgant. And 12. Out of the pass block. Cross. 
Cook with the ball. And it's stolen by Esdale. She comes in all alone, lays it up, and gets the roll. Fifty-four to twenty. Walpole's lead. There's a steal by Bingham. She lays it up and in. Comes all alone, puts it up and no good. A little strong on the layup. And Stolen by uh, Bingham. Brigham, Brigham. No, Bingham. It's going to be tough this year with a Bingham and a Brigham. I'm going to really have to have my A game going. There's a shot and no good. Mia Esdale with the rebound. Mia bringing it down on the far side. Over in the corner. Up top to Kit Taylor Carter. Esdale. Oh. Has the ball stolen by Crook. Crook goes end to end. No good with her shot. Carter with the rebound. And eventually gets over to Offgant. Lauren brings it down. Minute and a half to go on this one. Walpole will improve to 2 0. Braintree will fall to 1 1. Kylie Quinn with the ball. Puts up a long range shot that is an air ball. And it comes to Lauren Offgant. The final minute of this contest. Cantrell, Andy with it. Gets it to Mia Esdale. Over to Bella. To Bingham. To Carter. No good. Danita Hamda bringing it down. Three, good by uh, Kaiser. Fifty-six, twenty-three. Twenty-five seconds left to go in this game. Connor with the ball. She gets it to Cantrell. Cantrell is able to be saved by Bingham. Off Gant, killing off time, the final six seconds. Goes over to Esdeal, and that's it. Walpole wins it. Uh, good game for the Timberwolves, uh, looking all around. Uh, very well balanced, uh, everyone got a chance to play. Uh, the players coming off the bench got to play almost all of the second half uh, after the uh, starters had built up a uh, 31 to 12 lead at halftime and the starters came in and out a couple of times but it was uh, never in doubt in this game here. So we would like to thank you for watching this Walpole Media Corporation broadcast of Walpole High School girls varsity basketball action. Once again your final score from the Walpole High Gym. The Walpole Timberwolves 56, the Bainty Wops 23.